What's up guys, welcome back to my car. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and coming along with me today, making some money with DoorDash, Uber Eats. Um, I'm scheduled with DoorDash from nine to two. I gotta get my son from school at two, so we'll see where I am and when I need to end it. Right now it is 15 minutes until nine, so I'm just getting everything ready. I'm already logged on to my Uber. From 11 to 2, there's a $75, $75, no, there's a $7.50 extra to complete five trips. And then on DoorDash, there's a $3 peak pay, um, I believe all morning. So I'm going to bounce around between both apps. Um, I got a good deal on masks. I mean, I know people hate wearing masks. Me, especially with these damn glasses because it just fogs up. Like, what can I do? I pinch the nose as much as I can and it still fogs up my dang glasses. But, whoa. So I found a good deal on, what, 50? 50 colorful masks. Um, this was only $5. That is the cheapest I have ever found it. So I'll link that below in case you need some mass. $10.25 for three miles at McDonald's. Okay, there's three drinks in that bag. They were bagging it up when I got there. Two minutes, 0 0.4 miles. All right, deliver to service on left side of the building. Oh. That's that place right there. Okay. I had to walk the whole damn warehouse to get on the other side. So that's delivered. Making my way downtown to a dashing area. So I've been delivering about every other day. I haven't really been in the mood to film, which I mean, that's just life has been a little stressful lately. Five dollars for two miles. It's that same McDonald's. All right, I'm gonna, oh, hold up. I'm getting two orders now. So I declined oh, a grocery order. Bro, I am nowhere near that Walmart. Let's see, nine dollars for it doesn't even 16 miles. That means there is no one near that Walmart. That's crazy. No one wants to do Walmart orders. Like, do y'all do Walmart orders? I've never have. I've done a, a PetSmart order and it was two huge, huge dog beds. Two separate orders. Two huge dog beds. And they were both on the third floor apartment. And two different apartments. So, I mean, that was a whole ordeal in itself. I'll link that video below if you want to watch it. So we're off to a pretty good start with that one order. While I wait for my second order, please make sure you're subscribed. I'm gonna be doing a big giveaway when I hit 10K. We are so close. So make sure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy or learn anything from it. So I'm gonna drive to this other McDonald's that I keep getting all these orders from. Chick-fil-A, $5 for 10 miles. That's because it's like 10 miles away from me. All right, I'm gonna show you guys, but I would have to drive all the way down to the Chick-fil-A and then all the way back up to a, like a few streets over from where I am right now. How does that make sense? Like there's no drivers out today? I mean, that, that's kind of good there's no drivers. More deliveries for me. All right, I accepted this order right here. Pickup confirmed. Please confirm that there are three hash browns. Bruh, I can't open the bag. So it's a leave at door and they are 5.6 miles away. Oh my God, there's people working on the house. So that was weird because they had a bunch of guys working on something and there was tools laid out everywhere like uh, a saw. I didn't want to walk by the saw. 
so I went into the garage and put it by the garage door took a picture apparently that was the right thing they wanted me to do because as soon as it was I pushed delivered they came out grabbed it and went back in so I was, I was just thrown off by the workers they didn't even look at me all right finally a decent order 1.7 miles for six dollars the Duncan is right here I don't know what is up oh you're adding five dollars how many miles are you adding five no that's taking me way out of the area All right, that one was sitting there waiting, which is nice because this place usually takes a while. I clicked directions and it had me coming to the Dunkin', like, no. Okay, so five minutes, one mile away. All right, that order is dropped off. It brought me to a $3, come on. It brought me to a building that has like a bunch of different um offices inside so i was like uh i'm just gonna walk in and see what happens and she was standing right there so far i'm at 22 dollars and it's been exactly an hour so i mean i'm i'm on point with my earnings normally i'm like 20 to 22 dollars an hour all right so i just accepted this order at corner bakery and then i got a add-on order of course I accepted it because it was another eight dollars for five more miles sounded good to me so I'm gonna go pick up this order I right, got her little order and I realized it wasn't a double order at the same restaurant there was only one name so that means the other order is at a different restaurant on the way but I was able to use the bathroom here so I mean not really complaining i just need to pay a little more attention because i just seen eight bucks and i accepted it um the next place is 0 0.7 miles away all right i got the goods they were ready to go this coffee looks amazing i had no idea this little mom and pop coffee shop was here but these feel completely empty so that's weird so i'm dropping off the first order first and that is 3.1 miles away then the other one looks just as far like farther all right the first one's dropped off at an apartment on the third floor it gave me really good instruction so super easy to find and i get up there i put it at 303 and i i already took a picture and i was like wait wasn't it 302 I didn't remember so I'm pretty sure it was 302 but I mean I, left <laughs> I totally had a brain fart and obviously like after you take the picture it just goes through and you can't change anything or go back to look I didn't want to move in because I already took the picture at 303 I was like they'll find it it's right across all right that order was dropped off and I accepted another uber order but i didn't take a screenshot of it because it's driving and it's 0.6 miles away um the pay was ten dollars i believe don't remember the mileage uh to the customer so i'll find a screenshot i'll find something to screenshot and show y'all the quest uh just started so this will be the first order towards it and i gotta find this place so well, not this building breakfast I lunch. oh right. i found it all right so the order was ready to go um but it's looking like it is 6.1 miles the way i don't want to be heading out of my area i like to stay in so that's unfortunate because I was driving when I accepted it and I thought the destination was the other way but apparently it's not it's okay though we'll figure it out it's okay we're just gonna keep going all right so after declining a more order 
orders i turned my doordash back on and i got this order for six dollars it's super close so i'm gonna pick it up if i know where to go that way yes oh my lordy so i got the another another order i don't know if i showed you all that craziness craziness oh my god there's like 10 parking spots one of them was a oh my god that line is wrapped around like twice but there was one parking spot open and it said doordash uber eats pick up on it there are 1.3 miles so five minutes sweet i think i showed head north then turn left so it's a hand to customer but it says do not knock or ring the doorbell night shift workers sleeping so hopefully he's like watching me on the app and he comes out when i arrive your destination is on the left you see me i don't see you you see me Oh, there he is. Okay. So, I told him, because I was standing there for a little bit, and I was like, should I just, like, leave it here? Because you taking too long. So, I texted him that I'm here, and then I waited a little bit, and then I texted him, I'm just going to leave it on the ground in front of the door, because it says not to knock. $9 for five miles, and it's taking me to 60 Yes. All right, they are getting two things, and I pulled up to the to-go parking like it told me to. It says wait in the car. The door says wait in the car. The sign says wait in the car. Um, it is the pickup time right this minute, so I mean, hopefully they come out with it now. I'm gonna go to the door. I'm gonna go to the door. I waited there for a couple minutes and they finally came out and said, DoorDash, and asked me the name. So I got the order. Okay, 4.5 miles. And it will take 12 minutes. And it's in. Head southwest toward Lithium. The area I like to stay in. So it's a plus. All right, so that is dropped off. I definitely dropped, uh, delivered to this place before. All right, I did get my last order um, at Chick-fil-A. It's 2.2 miles for $7 and something cents. Um, so I'm gonna go pick this order up. It's gonna be my last one. All right, I got the order. <sighs> it was big, so I had to come through the other door. It is seven minutes away leave at door Brandon? wait that way that is not the direction hold up I took a screenshot of that one. Oh no 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 okay so this is the screenshot I took when I accepted the order and you see how it's taking me down 60 to the interstate over to MLK. Well, this, it, it's actually taking me, I go to 60 the other way and up, but it's 2.1 mile. That is, that is not the map that it showed me. I was wondering why the miles were so low. So now I'm going that way, a little like seven minutes that way when I need to be going that way. Why did it do that? I've never seen an order say that before where when you accept it, it's one direction and when you actually go to, to deliver it, it's the opposite direction. At least it's only 2.1 miles like that way but that is not what i accepted has that ever happened to y'all before like because i mean it might have happened to me before where i'm just like not paying attention whatever let's just where do i go 
but now when I'm like trying to make my way home and you and you sending me the other way that is not what I agreed on all right guys it's been a few hours later I wanted to wait for the last uber eats order to clear so I could see the um, the tip and the complete total I'm at my son's dentist appointment he had an appointment right after school so I had to drive 40 minutes here <laughs> not as if I haven't drove all morning but you want to say hi say hello okay hello chocolate face <laughs> so for DoorDash I made $27 it says I was dashing for three hours and 17 minutes and I was active for an hour and 21 of those which I left my DoorDash on when I was doing Uber orders and my Uber on when I was doing DoorDash orders I, I just I don't know if I didn't need to turn it off I didn't turn it off I just declined whatever orders came through um, and then on my Uber Eats, I was online for two hours and 49 minutes. I made $46.04. So totally, I made $73 in four hours. I just want to say a huge thank you for y'all watching my videos. And not only do I make money doing these delivery apps and I show you how to do it but I mean it's no secret that I get paid on YouTube I mean it's not a lot but it is another small income for me to take care of my kiddos and I really really from the bottom of my heart appreciate you guys like supporting me clicking on my videos and watching and if you made it to this far like you watch the whole video which is the best way you could support me and my channel um, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if if you learned something, if it was interesting, if it was motivation for you to get out there. And make sure you're subscribed because like I said, I'm going to have a big giveaway when I hit 10k. We're almost there. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.